Okay, everyone, welcome back. Let's talk about 1D. This is on page 12 in your book, uh, Maturita Solutions Intermediate. This time we are going to talk about used to. Used to is used uh, when we talk about something that was happening in the past, some kind of habits or routines that were happening in the past. Habits, routines of the past. Alright? If we translate it, it means Zviki Anotimi Zminovsky. That means they are not happening right now. It is very close to past tenses uh, that we have just discussed. And the tense is uh, the tense that is the closest to this would be was doing something. So past continuous. Let me give you an example. I used to uh, I don't know as a child climb trees. I used to climb trees. When I was a child, I really loved climbing trees. I don't do it anymore. Maybe I'm just too heavy. I don't know. But look, I used to climb trees. Something that used to happen. It was the routine. But we know that it's not happening right now. So as you know already, this is very similar uh, to past continuous. I was climbing trees as a child, right? So it is very similar, I would say, almost the same. The idea here is that those are habits and routines of the past that are not happening right now. The form is used to and the infinitive. Alright? So that means I used to climb trees. I just used the present tense, the infinitive, without anything else. And that's about it, gentlemen. If you want to make a question, you just make it with uh, did. Did you used to climb trees? And then you would say, yes I did, no I didn't, okay? So, if I wanted to ask a question here, it would be, were you climbing trees as a child? Right? But look, if it's just your hobby, if it was your hobby or habit or routine, it is much better to ask like this, did you used to climb trees, did you used to play the violin, did you used to play the guitar, and so on. In the negative, uh, you can just say, I didn't, I didn't use to, alright, and you say what? Don't forget that just like in the past simple, the, the, ne the past will go to the auxiliary verb. There is no D over here. I must say D over here when it's the, in the positive sense. But in the questions and in negative, I cannot use D at the end here. Because simply the past goes here to did, and then again here it goes here to did. I cannot say it twice. The short answer would be yes I did, or no I didn't. That's the idea. Okay, so uh, I think that's about it. You will find more in your book, I'm sure. Uh, especially in articles and exercises. You can always uh, look at it again. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask me in Google Classroom and I will help you out. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your exercises. Thank you so much for listening.